Okay, this is my uh, review of the N-Gear Auto Escape. And what it is is a flashlight as well as a uh, seat belt cutter and a window smasher to be uh, kept in your car uh, in case of emergencies. Nice box. Uh, got a quick start guide. Um, if I can get this out of here with one hand, maybe I can. Yeah. Okay, it's a uh, it's pretty impressive uh, piece of equipment. Uh, let me just say one thing quickly before I even get into the functions that they made it for. Um, there's a weapon in martial arts, I believe it's called a Kubaton, and this is uh, very close to that as far as if you were carrying it and needed to defend yourself and wanted to come down on somebody's jaw with something like that, that would be of benefit to you. Good uh, handle to grip, I like that. Not exactly what they intended it for, maybe, don't know. It's not included in the, the directions, but uh, just something that I, um, that I observed that would be a, that would be a heck of a weapon. When I initially accepted this as a uh, for a review, I thought uh, the company's based in California, and I thought it was an American-made product. It is not. It's made in China. Uh, it's anodized aluminum. It is, um, uh, I would say, seven inches long, maybe something like that. Um, it's got uh, the flashlight, and I'll take it outside in just a minute. It is not dark outside, so we're not going to really test the flashlight. But we'll just do this right here. Uh, it's got a um, high mode, low mode, and then it goes into an SOS mode. And this is something you don't have to worry about. You don't have to press it at the right time. It's uh, in, programmed in it to do SOS all by itself. Punch it again, it goes off. Now at any point, you don't have to run all the way through it to uh, to turn it off. Some flashlights you do. You turn it on, you gotta go through three or four more steps to turn the darn thing off. For this one, uh, you just hold it down for about a second, it turns off. I like that feature about it. Now the flashlight is 135 lumens on the bright. It is um, 50 lumens on the low. And I don't know what the SOS is, probably the 50 lumens on the SOS, but I'm really not sure about that. Runtime on it is uh, four hours on bright, 20 hours on uh, low, and uh, 28 hours on SOS. You know, this is for carrying in your car, assuming you ran off the road or um, someone else did, then you get them out of their car by using this. And, um, you can cut the seat belt also with it. I'll show you that in just a second. But the, as far as the light modes, um, I've got flashlights that are 900, 950 lumens. So this is not bright as far as, um, in comparison with some of the flashlights I have. However, I can say that I very, very seldom ever use the 950 lumens that I have on some other flashlights. So, you know, this is probably plenty as far as just being a, a flashlight. Now, if you uh, fix this to a weapon, you're probably gonna want more lumens than this. This says it's got uh, 150 meter distance on uh, on high and 90 meters on low. Um, you know, I don't know, it's not dark. I'm not gonna take it outside for you, but it's uh, it's it's possible that they, uh, that it will cut through and give you that kind of distance. Okay, let's look at the window breaker. First of all, you've got one on the outside that is just a, that is a steel ball it's on the outside. But what they've done, and, and it's pretty impressive for them to have done this, is if you're in a situation where you need to cut the uh, seat belt, you drop that, you cut the seat belt, and then you don't have to worry about what you did with the, with the, the um, cap of it. You know, if you cut the seat belt, then you need to break the window. Well, you don't need to, you don't have to worry about where you put the cap because it's got another ball here. That is a tungsten uh, 
tungsten steel ball. This one is just a steel ball. That is a tungsten steel ball. That's the one, you know, that they pretty much uh, figure you're going to use because you're going to be, uh, you have it open for the seat belt. So anyway, let's take it outside. And um, I think I've told you about everything I know. It's hard anodized aluminum. I believe I told you that. It is LED, the, the light. Um, and let's just see, uh, let's see what it'll do. Before we go outside, let's look at this. This is a, a holder that they provide with it for this to snap into in your car. Kind of hard to do with one hand. It's got, uh, you can use a, an adhesive pad or it's also got some screws that come with it. You want to screw it to your, uh, fix it uh, with screws to your um, vehicle. Now, it was hard to get in there and it's probably gonna be very hard to get out. I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say I don't like the fact that it's uh, uh, the I don't like the idea of putting this in a bracket in a holder, and then you're in a wreck and this thing is slinging around your car. But that was so difficult to get in there, and I can't do it with one hand. I can't get it out with one hand. So uh, I don't think it'd go anywhere. It might come loose. The adhesive might come loose. But anyway, you may or may not want to do that. I would. Uh, I, I will put mine in my. Um, uh, side pocket or console or something like that. It's unlikely I will affix that to my car somewhere. But anyway, all right, let's go outside. Okay, so we're out here at the car. Let's see if it will actually break a window. Okay, well, if you thought I was going to break my window for a YouTube view, <laughs> you're sadly mistaken. What I will do, uh, I, first of all, I've got to take their word for it. They say hit in the corner, in the corners of the windows, like that, to break the windows. Now, what I will do is this. I've got a, uh, I'm not going to cut my seatbelt for you either, but I do have a piece of strapping here, about an inch and a half strapping. It's a little thicker probably than a seat belt, but uh, not as wide as a seat belt. And I'll see how it, well it cuts that. So we take the cap off. Yes, it cuts it. Not as, not as quickly as I thought it would. So, yes, it cut the seat belt. Took a little doing to cut it. Uh, you know, I had to kind of saw at it a little bit more than I expected that I would. But there again, that wasn't a, a real seat belt. It was, um, it was webbing. Again, probably, probably harder to cut than a seat belt, I would think. It's, uh, I would think so. Anyway. Uh, I'll put a link to it below. You can uh, go there and visit their website. InGear makes it. It's called the Auto Escape. That is my review of it. Uh, please go to their website if you're interested. Check it out and see all the uh, functions and um, all the documentation they have for it. All right, that's it. I believe we're gone.